Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Midnight Poppyland episode 11 to 12. And guys, I am on the path of gaining and hoping to gain 10,000 subscribers. I'm currently at 6,000, but it is a goal of mine until end of this year, 2024. So if you guys can, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys can subscribe, share, and like this video and many other of the other reads that I do, I would appreciate appreciate you guys so much. All right, that's my goal. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> hey, gotta promote. All right. That guy Goliath is a legend. Started out as a street thug. Clawed his way to the top in just a few years. Every gang boss wanted him in their clan at one point. And then a few days ago, he went missing. But he left some notebook behind that everyone's been looking for. Could this DVD have anything to do with it? Hey, old lady. <laughs> I'm going out now. Clean your shit up yourself. What? You promised me you would help. Ring, ring, click. What's up, man? Where, where are you? Still stuck in the restaurant? Me and the boys have been waiting for you. Hey, listen up. You lying little rat. I gave you half of this week's earnings so you could help me out today. Drop whatever you're doing and meet me at the Cyber Cafe now. What's that? I'm gonna miss Candy Baby's performance. <laughs> to hell with her. I got something more exciting in store for us now. Something that's going to make us rich. Giant Goldfish Publishing. My table's a mess. Hmm. Pull yourself together. <laughs> do you know what you do? You know what you need to do now? You need to make a to do list. I see. It's so cute because you see like the little stickers on her her little notepad. Because <laughs> I did the same thing. I love little sticky notes and stickers and stuff. Anything that makes it pop out, I I adore it. Just one last thing left to add in. Ta -ta. I need to make that photo he took of me. It's deleted. Step. For now and forever. <laughs> that utterly, utterly humiliating photo. <sighs> so, now start figuring out how to get him to do that. Just now was obviously a bad time to ask. I needed his help to locate Mr. Lamb. And confronting him head-on would have been a terrible idea. Especially when it was just me and him, and I didn't at least have an exit route planned out. But he did give me his business card. Hmm. I'll assume for now that he doesn't know I'm the girl from the train station. Girl, he knows. He knows. <laughs> or he wouldn't have given it to me. Or maybe I'll be able to catch him off guard or something. Found it. Tour from the Balthaman organization. What is that? It sounds so prestigious. Tiger. He's got such an aggressive n name, just like him. Even after he spent the entire afternoon chasing down Mr. Lamb together with me, I still can't shake off the feeling that there's something dangerous about him. And for sure, he scares the heck out of me, even without trying. But maybe I'm really wrong about him. Still, got to make sure he deletes that photo, though. Whew. Oh. 
you drive. Quincy, where you get that damn car from? I bought it, duh. Just because I told you to take a cab down on your own to see your boss? I have a job for you today, Tora. Time to get to work. Harsh. John Morrison, CEO. L look, pal. I don't know who the hell you are or what you want from me. But I'll give you anything you want. How about that? Money? Is that what you want? Because I have a ton. Uh, how much do you need? 200? 500? I don't know how much alcohol or drugs cost you, but I'm sure that's more than enough, eh? Oh my god, what should we do? Uh, I think we should really get security in now. Damn, Mr. Morrison should not be saying that those things to this guy. What? But Mr. Morrison just said not to call for security. Yes, I did say that, so stay where you are, all of you. God, you bunch of imbeciles. But, but, but Mr. Morrison, that man is about to hurt you. This lowlife thug would crack my skull open before you even step out of this room, stupid. Are you all trying to get me killed? Oh my god. I, I think he just broke my jaw. Hurry up and get the me the stupid checkbook. I don't know if I can do that loud clap. Who the hell is that? Which of you numbskulls is clapping when your CEO is being assaulted? Ah. Uh, I'm afraid that would be me. Sorry to interrupt your fun, Mr. Morrison. Well, oh. I know they do a recap on here, so we're going to scroll through those because I don't want to read it again. This is a lot of yelling. Because <laughs> I already said this. We're going to Quincy's part. Whew. There it is. Okay. Sorry to interrupt your fun, Mr. Morrison. <gasps> Quincy, is that you? What the hell are you doing in my building? Didn't I tell you not to call or come back here again? Our working relationship ends today and that's final. You know, I find it funny that you're asking him what he wants. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> you see, Morrison, the man doesn't want anything. He merely carrying out orders. But don't. My orders. What on earth? Y your orders? Are you saying that this punk works for you? So he's some street thug you hired to get back at me? Is that what this is all about? You... I rarely speak about this, but have you ever wondered what B, the B and Quincy B Noyuko stands for? I don't give a damn what it stands for. Did you send this thug here to get back at me, you little piece of shit? Oh, he snatched the man's hair. <gasps> Mr. Morrison! Say that to him one more time. And I'll make sure it's the last word you live to say. Got it? But don't. G -g got it. I got it. I, I got it. Just don't hurt me. Look, Quincy, I'm sorry for calling you that. But get this cycle off of me, for Christ's sake. 
I do whatever you want. I I'll give you the profit I made from all of your stupid manuscripts. I mean, you can call me whatever you want, honey. I couldn't care less. But I can't guarantee my underling here won't get mad. He's a bit feral, you see. But don't. Tora, down boy. And he has a hell of a temper, if you haven't already noticed. So I suggest you watch what you're saying to me. Look, Quincy, let's talk things out nicely. You're very talented, but as I said, we don't need your services anymore. So even if you're here to beg me, beg, whoever said anything about begging, he's not asking me to get him back into the company. Quincy, no yuko. Then is he just here to disgrace me in front of all my employees? You little shit. Uh, what the? <laughs> you just who the hell are you? I thought you'd never ask. My pen name is QB Noyuko, as you already know. My birth name, though, is Balthaman. Quincy Balthaman. Look, as a reader, we don't know the level of, you know, how prestigious or how high ranked a last name is, right? But now we're pretty much getting shown that, oh, this name carries a lot of weight. And whoever messes with that name are in trouble, are in danger. You can get wiped out. So it's actually very scary. And if you guys already know, there's a lot of names out there that you would not want to mess with. So anyways. If you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. And guys, uh, if we hit 10,000 subscribers in this year, I will totally do a huge celebration. Maybe do a my first time giveaway. Who knows? But anyways, thank you so much, you guys, for supporting me. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!